Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to download any of the characters in Mizamo. This is Mizamo.com characters and import into Unreal Engine 4 to make it become the main characters of the game. So as demo, I will just select a random character here. Once I click it, it will load, load into here. Next, I'm going to click animations and select a T-Pose. I better choose a girl. For example, this girl. Alright, next, click the animations to select a T-Pose. And then I, I press enter. Now click the T-Pose. Okay, her name is called Maria. 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 Okay, I'm going to click download with skins, FBX, and also now I can click download. Just wait for a while. It is downloading into my computer. Download as T-Pose. It is 16.7 MB. Just need to wait for a while. While waiting for the downloading, now I'm going to launch the Unreal Engine. For this time, click the link, click the game, and I will select as third person. Next. I will name it as Mizamo Demo 01 because I'm going to do a demo how to import any of the Mizamo character to Unreal Engine 4 as the main character. So I create the project. Now this also finished downloading. I will just click here and click show in folder. I renamed it as Maria. Maria. Alright. Next. I'm still waiting for Unreal. Now I'm going to close the Mizamo because the Mizamo environments will occupy a lot of GPU calculation. I'm going to close this. Alright, now the Unreal Engine already finished finish loaded. Next, click the content. I'm going to create a new folder here. That's called Mizamo. Mizamo character. I double click into this folder. Next, I'm going to import import this Maria. Maria.fbx I just downloaded. Drag in and just wait for a while. Alright. For this option, what you need to do is click here and then click import all. The skeleton you can just ignore. Just import all. Next, you re receive this message. Here, you can just close it. Next, you can see I have a content browser here, same, same as here. If yours don't have, you can just turn it on, the content browser. 
2. By default, it is not turning on. So now I have two content browser. Next at here, I'm going to open this. This is the default character. Right, this one. He is the default character. So double click. And then it is under character. It is under mesh. And then here you can see a skeleton. Okay. First you have to double click this skeleton. And then somewhere here. Select the humanoid. Select the humanoid rig. After that, save. Then now I, I just minimize this. Next, I will back to my Mizamo character folder somewhere here. I will double click this. Sorry. Double click the Tipo's skeleton. This one. The Maria Skeletons. Double click. Then, you should be able to see a retarget manager and a skeleton tree. If you cannot see, then you have to click here, retarget manager. Same as just now. Just now, I, I asked you to do this. You have a retarget manager. You have to on, on this. Otherwise, if it disappears, you have to click and turn it on. Right. Just now, this one already set as a humanoid. It is the default character. And now, how about the Maria? You have to set her as a human as well. Next, you are going to set all these targets. This is a Mizamo skeleton. So the pelvis, you have to select it. The spine, 0 01, you have to select spine. Spine 02, then spine 03. Sorry. This one, spine 02, you select spine 1. Spine 03, you select spine 2. and for this one, clavicle, you select shoulder. This is left shoulder. Upper arm, left upper arm, you have to select left arm. And this here, lower arms, you have to select left forearm. Left hand. You select left hand. So now repeated is the right hand side. Look at the right hand side. Right shoulder. Right arm. Right forearm. And right hand. The neck zero one. You select the neck. The head already selected. The tie. The tie you select left up leg. Then left leg. Left foot. Here. Right, right side of the tie you select, right up leg, right leg, then here right foot. Alright, now everything already selected. Next. What you are going to do, you need to save this. Click save. It is under Mizamo character. You name it the bone bone mapping. This is a profile. It acts as a profile. 
So I just need to underscore it and this is Mizamo just for Mizamo skeleton is safe. So that next time no matter how many of the Mizamo character you want to import into your Unreal Engine 4, you just need to load it. Alright. So what about the next? Here you just save this, just to save. So for this time, I, we, we are not going to point the finger yet. If you want to point the finger, you, you click show advanced, then you can print all, you can just go and point all the fingers. For this time as demo, I just skip this. And now already save as a profile. Next. Before you close this, you have to click Apply to Assets. Now save again. Apply to Asset already, then save. So what about the next? You go back to your content browser. Here, click the content. Then for this time, you go to here, this is the default character. After that, you go to the character and double click the mesh. You should be able to see the skeleton, which one? This one. Double click. Then you, you can see the retarget manager. Click the retarget manager tab to make sure it, it already open. And next, what are you going to do is it is under options. Skeleton tree, it is under options. Then click show retargeting option. And here we want to change change it to become a T post. So now I just need to click the hands, make it up. Here, make it up. Then click here. Make it become a real T-Pose. Now it should be okay already. This is a T-Pose. Next, what should I do? I have to save this. I right click here. Sorry. Right click. Recursively set translation retargeting skeletons. Then I save. Next, click the retarget manager. And somewhere here. Click the modify post and then Click use current post. Then click save. Once save already, you can minimize here. You need to go back to the content, the content folder, and next time you are going to search this, the third person. Anim VP. This one, you right click it and then click retarget 
animation blueprint then duplicate animation blueprint and retarget so your target here you select the Maria skeletons after that click retarget now both are t-pose just click retarget and now you can see everything already changed here next the third person this one third person animation blueprint you just rename it and add an underscore Mizamo all right once rename already next you are going to search search the third person characters under content folder third person character okay this one double click it okay now it will show you this you just need to click the viewport first and next click the mesh the skeletal mesh you select Maria and then the animation class you you need to select third person animation blueprint Mizamo now you can see this Mizamo characters already become the, the main character so now I just want to make sure I save this So this one, file save. The Maria skeletons here also save. Save everything. And this one also save. Three of them, you make sure you save this. Next, I minimize it. Now you can see your main character already become the characters that you import from Mizamo. Now, I can just test to to play test play. Alright, now it is it is very normal. It really become the main character. Yes. Now it become the main character of the third person game. And from this tutorial you already successfully make the Mizamo character to become the Unreal Engine main character. And that's all for today about how to import and export from Mizamo to Unreal Engine. Alright, thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and at the same time, you also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.